So, um, Stephanie, since you are my lone student in this uh, chapter, basically what we are going to be learning how to do is solve any system equation. Now, obviously, we could graph these, right? That's what we learned before is how to graph them. Um, but what we're going to do is learn how to do this algebraically, all right? So when learning this, how to do this algebraically, basically what I want you to do is look for the variable that have coefficients of 1. Do you guys remember what I stopped before this and I told you guys exactly why I was telling it? Yeah, that didn't happen. So the level needs to come down. OK. Yes. So basically what we're doing is we're looking for a variable that has a coefficient of 1. And you can see here I have x has a coefficient of 1. And here this y has a coefficient of 1, right? Now, when applying substitution, Whenever you have a variable that's already isolated, you're going to want to use substitution. Or whenever there's a variable that has a coefficient of 1, that's when you want to use substitution. But basically, when applying substitution, the first thing you want to do is isolate your variable. And fortunately for you in this case, you have a variable isolated. But for instance, let's just show, let me just show you. Let's pretend the equation looked like this. Let's just pretend the y was on the same side. What you'd want to do, your first step would be to solve for y, which would be to subtract the 2. So then you have it like this. So now, shh. guys, I understand I'm only teaching one student, but let's get to the thing. So um, actually, not to one student. I should have more people that didn't do their thing. Um, anyways, so now we know that y is equal to that expression. Now, in algebra 1, if you remember, we did like equations. 2a minus b, we say a equals 3 and b equals 5. Right? What did we do with the 3 and the 5? What did we plug them in for? You substituted them in, right? You plugged them in because a was equal to 3. The values are the same. Now what I'm telling you is y is not equal to a number, but y is equal to expression. But what we do is we take this, plug it into the other one. So x plus 2 times 5x minus 2 equals 7. Now I have an equation with only my x. I can apply distributive property. So I have x equals, sorry, x plus 10x minus 4 equals 7. Right? Yes? Combine my like terms. 11x um, minus equals 7. Add 4. Add 4. 11x equals 11. Divide by 11. Divide by 11. x equals 1. OK? Now I know x equals 1. Now I know this value, just like I did over here, I can plug 1 in for x. So I have y equals 5 times 1 minus 2. y equals 5 times 1 is 5, minus 2 is 3. So now I know the value of 3, and I know the value of 1. So do these two lines, if you were to graph them, intersect? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they intersect at that point. So it would be a consistent um, independent solution. Okay. Mm 